Russia. I could uh, tell that the brain drain uh, is a big challenge for a country like Croatia. Uh, so I think that uh, it brings some economic benefits, but also some costs, not only economic, but also social and political costs to the country. Um, if you would ask me whether I would uh, support people to flee away and to uh, find, to, to go to find uh, better solutions for themselves abroad, I would say that uh, they should really be free to do that and there should be no bans for them uh, from the recipient countries. Uh, because if they would have better prospects in their countries of origin, they would probably choose to stay in those countries. So I think as uh, the countries have to struggle for capital and for investments, they should also do their best to keep uh, their best talents in the country and to create a good environment for them to stay in the country, not to leave the country. But if they decide to leave, to leave it's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> I think that sometimes we take democracies uh, for granted and uh, we think that democracies will produce the best possible results uh, themselves uh, so that uh, democracy would provide um, economic freedoms and uh, personal freedoms to the people. However, I think that if we don't work uh, on democracy, if we don't develop the democracy, it uh, could also uh, lead to uh, unfavorable results. Therefore, we should edu educate the people uh, how to uh, participate in the de democracy, how uh, they could also uh, make uh, the uh, outturns of the democracy better than it than it is. Um, well, I would say that uh, in our, in my country, in Croatia, um, the principles of democracy should be uh, taught and learned from private pri uh, primary schools onwards, uh, because otherwise people think that someone else else would take the responsibility for the outturns of the democracy and uh, they should be taught that it's up to themselves and that they should be engaged citizens.